Hailed by many fast food connoisseurs as the best place for a to-go burrito, beloved restaurant chain Chipotle is making headlines as cyber criminals recently hacked the organization's email marketing account and used it to send customers phishing emails. How can you ensure your next Chipotle email is a coupon for a good deal instead of a ruse to steal? We'll cover the topic and more as we sit down and sync up with Rocket IT's technology update for August 4th. Hello everyone, I'm Chris Swinson, your Technology Insider here at Rocket IT, and welcome to yet another episode of Sync Up, your new home for trending technology news. In today's episode, we're taking a look at the Chipotle phishing crisis. Discovered by the email security group known as Inky, it was found that Chipotle's Mailgun account, which it uses to send a lot of different email marketing campaigns, had been hacked. In fact, 120 different emails went out over the course of three days targeting Chipotle's consumers. That said, while the 120 different phishing emails that went out over the course of three days may not seem like much in comparison to Chipotle's massive consumer audience, keep in mind that those emails were the only ones captured by Inky's security platform. In a statement that Mailgun provided, they said Mailgun security teams are aware of the phishing campaign targeted at Chipotle's customers. While this is not a result of any platform level vulnerabilities or data breach, we assist with and support the full investigation of this incident. But why exactly did hackers need Chipotle and why couldn't they just send a phishing campaign on their own? Seeing an email from a legit address such as Chipotle's domain increases the likelihood that the message will in fact hit the customer's inbox. Otherwise, there's an opportunity for anti-phishing software to pick up on the suspicious email and block it. While Chipotle and its customers were in fact the victims of this attack, this isn't to say that hackers necessarily wanted to pose as Chipotle. For those unfamiliar with email marketing in its true form, when you create a campaign inside one of these services, you're given the option to alter the perceived email address and sender name of the email before it goes out. In turn, while the email may have been coming directly from Mailgun and Chipotle's hacked account, Hackers altered the email address and the sender identification to make it appear as though these emails were coming directly from Microsoft. In the cybersecurity world, this is often referred to as email spoofing. And you may be asking yourself, why Microsoft? And why only send 120 malicious emails? Why not use this as an opportunity to hit as many of Chipotle's customers as possible? Well, for one, it's highly likely that Chipotle's marketing team is regularly checking their email services and hackers, if they had sent too many emails, may not have been able to stay under the radar for as long as they did. But to get an understanding of why exactly these cyber criminals pose as Microsoft, we'll have to dig a little bit further. Specifically, when hackers were sending these emails, they were tailoring the messaging to make it appear as though these individuals' inboxes were becoming full and they would no longer be able to send or receive messages. When opened, these messages actually contained fraudulent links that sent the individual to illegitimate websites that then contained faked login portals that captured the individual's credentials when entered. So here lies the hacker's dilemma. While they could have used a similar scam to direct customers to a faked Chipotle login screen where they collected their credentials and used them to log into their real accounts to collect their credit card information, the payout might have been kind of small. Instead, by spoofing Microsoft, this kind of hints that these hackers were actually going through Chipotle's customer list and picking out those individuals that had subscribed with a business account. By successfully hitting these individuals, they would then be able to log into their Microsoft account, potentially get into their business network, collect some data, and then hold that data for ransom and increase the chance of a larger payout in the future. But surely, cyber criminals couldn't have fooled that many people, right? Well, let's just say the cyber criminals are getting pretty good at designing pretty authentic user interfaces. For reference, take a look at these two Microsoft login pages. Which one do you think is fake, and which one do you think is real? Despite looking nearly identical, if you went with option one on the left, chances are that you just infected your entire business network with malware. So what can you do to make sure that you and your organization don't become a victim of a phishing scam? Well, for one, check the domain when it hits your inbox, see if it looks suspicious. Next, look for grammatical errors. If you see quite a few, chances are it's a phishing email. Also, never click a login link that's contained within an email. Instead, Google it and make sure that you're getting it from a verified source. Additionally, for those individuals that are really looking to secure their accounts, look into deploying MFA or multi-factor authentication anytime it's available. On the other hand, if the email appears to be coming from an individual that you actually know and you still think it's suspicious, make sure to pick up the phone and call them. Otherwise, if the email still looks suspicious and it's not coming from a source that you know, flag it and send it to your IT department. 
But above all else, if you've not participated in some form of security training or phishing testing within the last few months, look into it. For a limited time, Rocket IT is offering audience members a free phishing test to ensure you and your team know the telltale signs of current phishing trends. For more information on this deal, click the link in this video's description. And in the meantime, hit that subscribe button to stay tuned for the next episode of Sync Up with Rocket IT.